One very important thing about knowing the German language is that it breaks down the barrier between you and the German society. You, be, you feel like you are part of what is happening. You, you'll be able to read the news, you know what is going on, you'll be understanding the jokes. Okay, with the jokes it will take some time, but you don't feel like you are being exempted or you're not part of it. And that also would make you arriving in Germany much easier. Like, yeah, you're physically here, but also your soul, your spirit and everything, your mind would also arrive once you're able to understand what is going on around you. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Phoebe Way. How are you doing? Hope you're doing fine. You are most welcome to the new series, Diary of a Black Woman in Germany. If you don't know, my name is Phoebe. If this is your first time on this channel, you are welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you are welcome back. And today's topic, I asked you guys on Instagram about which topic should we start first because some of the questions I got were about language, about how I take care of my hair because the, the uh, introduction or the trailer had some snippets of my hair in it and then people were like, your hair looks so healthy, what, do you, what are you doing? Can you share tips? So yes, I will do that, but that has to be number two because the um, number one was the language video. People want to know about the German language and how to go about it. So I have written some things down and let's just start. So the, well, today's video is about the advantages and how to learn the language as fast as possible. One thing I have noticed here is that a lot of us African migrants or African immigrants tend not to learn the language because sometimes the reason is that it's too difficult or it's going to take too much time or I'm looking for coins. So I'm not going for the big money. I just want to work quickly and sleep. But the reason why Germany is Germany is because there are certain things or rules that apply in this country that has made the country what it is today. And one of them is in its name, whether in English or in German, it's the word German. Like German, even in, in, in the name of Germany in German is Deutschland, Deutsch. So you cannot do away with the language, okay? You need the language to survive in this country. And also, if you want to understand the happenings in the country, it is the language that you will need, okay? Um, I hear a lot of times people saying Germans have to speak more English. It's a, it's 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 global. They have to speak more English. Have to speak more English. Go to Italy. Go to the Czech Republic. You won't see English anywhere. The language of the country is what is number one. Is the primary one. Twenty years ago, when I first came to Germany, you wouldn't even see sale in the shops. If there was a sale going on, what you would know is Reduzios, that's what they would post in it. Schlussverkauf, so much Schlussverkauf. This is how you know that there is a sale going on. But these days, you see sale in English and it makes things easier for you. When I first came, it wasn't like that. So it's even gotten much better with English. And there's even a new word for the mixture of English and German, the Denglish. Things are better now, but still, it is Germany, so you're not going to get everything that easy. And that's why I'm going to encourage you to learn the German language. Learning the German language is going to open career doors for you. There are certain careers that without the German language, you will not be able to do. Of course, if you are in the IT field or if you're even in the STEM field, because these areas are very are growing quickly, they are open to more foreigners coming in. So some of the material that you're working with, or most of it is going to be in English, yes. But how do you relate with your colleagues? How do you make friends? How do you have a social life in Germany without speaking German? That is going to be difficult. But hold on to that thought. We're going to use it to make it work for you later. You have to understand also that in Germany, the German language is what you can compare to the Nigerian pidgin in Nigeria or the 
the the chi of Ghana because so a lot of people don't know this again but when it comes to the different regions of Germany they have their own dialect so for many years I couldn't understand Schwäbisch I don't understand Bayerisch either when they're speaking Bayerisch I hear snippets of it but I'm not so bothered to learn now because I'm not always in Bayern or in that region right then when you go to Berlin, they, they keep saying Cain, it was Kofen or Kofen, I don't know, but it sounds more like it's Dutch, okay? So all of these areas have their own, um, have their own dialects. And also in the Dach area, being Germany, Austria, and Switzerland, they also have their own different types of dialects. But then there's that Hochdeutsch that they all speak. So learning German, you are automatically going to learn the Hochdeutsch, and you will need that as well. Okay, so once you learn German, as I said, it's like pigeon, you can move between these three countries also in your career search. Now, one thing is that learning German makes you less dependent because, as I said in the beginning, learning Germ Germany is German, okay? It's what makes the country. So even if things are being made easier in the economic world or in the economic aspects, when it comes to the bureaucratic aspects and the government addressing you, most of it is still going to be in German. Most of it is still going to be in German. So when you get certain letters and all that, they come in German, your tax and everything. Yes, Elsa is also in English now, but your tax um, assessment and all that, they will first come in German. And you do not want to always have to wait for somebody to read for you. That also means that you waiting for someone to read your letters, to accompany you to be heard and to take you to the hospital and everything your confidentiality as in your matters are going out like whatever you would have wanted to keep to yourself you can't keep to yourself anymore that is another thing and living in germany and speaking german makes your life easier and open certain doors for you for example in my case when i lost my mom in 2022 i started grief therapy being our big life chunk Imagine if I had to wait for an English speaking group to start and not be able to start with a German group right away. How would things have, like, it would have been even worse for me. But I remember I started Chalbic Leitung um, already in July. Yes, I started it in July. So these are ways that speaking the language are going to make things easier for you. Also, I remember I went for adult swimming lessons. Some of us were not English speakers, sorry, were not German speakers. So whenever it came to what when things have to explain to them, they would need longer time. And you could tell that sometimes they would just try to do anything so they don't we don't have to they don't have to wait for us to finish and then the, the teacher would come to them to give them extra attention, everything. It just makes your life easier in short. Speaking German and learning German makes your life easier. So see it as a learning opportunity for yourself time to add value to your skills or just you know improve your skills and make that investment and learn the language okay you owe it to yourself yeah so speaking the language is going to boost your confidence because whenever something is going on you don't have to double guess what is what they are saying because you speak the language you just walk in and you start talking now I said, hold on to the first thought I, I made, right? Being that without the language, you wouldn't be able to make friends. But then since you are not speaking the language yet, you have to particularly go in for German speaking friends so that you would be learning the German, they'll be correcting you, and you also form a bond at the same time. That is one thing you can do, okay? Another thing you can do is listen to podcasts. In my case, I listen to podcasts, German podcasts, to learn new words, to hear how um, the current German population speaks, you know, because I'm not someone, even though I'm, I'm doing YouTube and everything, I'm not a very outgoing person. Like, I don't really go out of my way to meet new people. And my German speaking circle is kind of, should I say, constant yes it's constant and stable so to know what the outside world is doing i then go ahead to listen to the podcast to see what are the new words or how how are certain things said so my german isn't one way you know 
my diction is more variated. Do you say variated? Yeah, but yeah, you, you get what I mean. But that is one of the reasons why I would want to listen to podcasts. One thing that I've seen a lot on TikTok is learn German with me. So there are people on TikTok that will teach you German for free. So if you're waiting for a language course at home and you don't know what to do, TikTok is there. With TikTok, it's a live thing. So you can always ask your questions. With YouTube, you can also always look for YouTube videos and learn the language. In my case, when I came to Germany, I was 12 years old. You say, oh, she was young and everything, yes. But I was also struggling not to forget English. So my readiness to learn German wasn't all that high. So I kind of understand people when they don't have that readiness. And so though I was speaking German and learning German, people were amazed about how good and how fast I had learned the language. I'm good with languages. I inherited that from my mom. So me being able to learn the language, especially I'm, a, I'm somebody who loves to read too. So reading German and understanding it was not a, a problem for me or much of a problem for me. My problem was speaking it at the same, like at the same pace, like the other people, right? And also having different ways of saying things, so vocabulary. Those were my issues. And then being somebody who was a perfectionist, because in English back in Ghana, you had to speak impeccable English. I wanted to do the same thing in German. And because I felt I wasn't that good, it kind of reduced the confidence I had in speaking German. And that is why whenever somebody asks me, what, how should I learn the German language? I just tell you, be easy on yourself. Laugh at yourself and just speak it. If you don't feel comfortable speaking it in front of some people, look for people that you will feel safe, safe with who would correct you at the same time, you know, correct you. And one thing is when you're speaking it with people who are like German or German people, they, they know the language is difficult. So they just, you know, correct you. And sometimes it's very subtle. You don't even notice that you've been corrected. They just repeat what you said. Like they pick up what you said say it again and then they say their thoughts to the topic okay so for example if i said um how what, what example should i make um ich habe den tasse genommen okay that is my statement and i made the mistake ich habe den tasse genommen now my counterparts would then say the tasse yeah ich habe die tasse auch gesehen then you realize that it is not the tasse, but rather the tasse. And then you have that stick in your mind. So that is another thing that you can do. One thing that I did those days too was have one word a day, Owad. Owad helped me so much with um, having the corresponding German word to English. That was amazing. That was so amazing. So that is also another thing that you can also do the um, OWA thing. I think it's still running, so you can look into that. One cute thing I did back then was in school, I took my little bond dictionary with me and I put it on my desk every day. Now you have it on your phone. You don't have to carry your, your little dictionary with you. But if you are better with books more than phones and all of that, look into that one as well. So I hope this has made it clear why you need the language. So don't, if, if you are still new in Germany or been here for some time and you think it is difficult, no. The moment you, you tell yourself it's difficult, you're not going to do it. The moment you don't have the readiness to do it, you're not going to do it. The moment you will want to rely on someone to speak the German for you, you're not going to do it. In Germany, it is the practice that will make you perfect. One very important thing about knowing the German language is that it breaks down the barrier between you and the German society. You, be, you feel like you are part of what is happening. You, you'll be able to read the news. You know what is going on. You'll be understanding the jokes. Okay, with the jokes, it will take some time. But you don't feel like you are being exempted or you're not part of it. And that also would make you arriving in Germany much easier. Like, yeah, you're physically here, but also your soul, your spirit, and everything, your mind would also arrive once you're able to understand what is going on around you. If you have any other questions, we'll talk about that in the coming, the next video. So 
have a good time and i'll see you next week